All right, got the pizza. Of course, this broadcast might cut out because we're going over the river. Gonna um, try to find a spot to park, chill, chat. is uh, Merritt Island. I see, a, it looks like it's a houseboat. I don't know if that's a houseboat. It's got a pontoon boat out there. Huge. A party boat? I do believe it's a houseboat. Somebody has a houseboat out there. Huh. Interesting. Anyhow, I, um, after that fiasco with the, uh, the roof painting and raining right after I painted, <laughs> I think I'm, I'm gonna go to the beach side to eat pizza and um, chill. Try to relax a little bit, at least while the beach is still open. You know, they, well, I, I don't know if I'll go all the way to the beach side or not. Maybe I won't go to the beach. Maybe I'll just go to the, um, maybe I'll just go to the, the port. I just want to go by water, you know, where I can see nice, beautiful water. Of course, I, I could have looked at the river. I don't know. I, I, I guess I just wanted to go for a ride. You know, I get like that when I, I get frustrated. It was frustrating dealing with that painting because I was like, hey, I came up with a solution to do the repair by using elastomeric paint to basically pour it down the cracks. And I think it would work. You know, you, you pour the paint, it just runs down by gravity and it gets gravity fed to all the crevices, all the little holes where the leaks are. So you don't really have to track down the leak because you know where the leak is. The water, you know, when it rains, speaking of rain, it looks like it's sprinkling. But it, the water would actually trickle down by gravity and then, you know, it's leaking in. So if you pour the paint, onto the roof it'll flow with gravity and eventually hit a hole or holes that were you know where the leaks were coming from and hopefully go into there and start to clog it up because it's thicker than water but with the rain hitting it i don't know that i think the rain might have diluted it and didn't let it seal so i'll have to start all over just sucks. It was hard climbing up on that, that RV roof and um, having to lean over and get the paint and all that stuff. But I guess I'll do it again. And uh, I'll get a couple cans of paint just to try to get it all done. The problem is Florida weather. It like rains almost every day. It'll look nice and sunny and then um, just suddenly like, like, see how it looks so nice out here right now. Look at that. All the, the clouds are gone now. But it was nice like this. And then, I kid you not, as soon as I finished painting, it went black. And it started pouring rain. So, I don't know. We're in that, that season, you know. The wet season in Florida. It's either dry and hot or wet and hot. We haven't, we haven't done like a driving video in a long time because I haven't been driving much. I mean, I'm driving, but I haven't been filming and stuff. You know, what's interesting is I, I don't think the cruise ships, I don't think the cruise ships are working yet. We can go take a little look. 
they have a lot of stuff that's open, but they stay, you know, there's still stuff like um, theaters, movie theaters aren't open yet. Um, places where people meet, you know, like the um, sporting events. I don't think they're open yet. But they have all those things that they want to allow people to, to collect that, even like churches and stuff like that. But they're going to have all the students and teachers packed into classrooms. Five days a, a week, seven and eight hours a day. Does that make any sense? You say that the, the, the government is saying that um, the coronavirus is too dangerous right now for movie theaters and you know even um, restaurants and stuff to be packed with people but it's okay to put a whole bunch of students and you know a bunch of kids and teachers into a little classroom and pack them there for seven hours a day that's what they're saying at least in florida which to me is ridiculous they just had a case i was reading on um on facebook where a kid lost both his parents within two weeks one parent got sick with the coronavirus, and the other parent got sick with it too. After the first one died, the second one died. So within two weeks, the the kids, there's two kids, they don't have any parents. And that's what the governor of Florida is trying to do. He's trying to open all the. Now he does want. Now that there's been a big uh, flack on it, because a lot of parents don't want to stick their kids in school because it's like a death sentence. If not for the kid for the, possibly for the parents or grandparents. They want to put the kids into the classrooms because then they say, well, then people can go back to work. People can't go back to work if they're all dead. <laughs> and unlike, unlike these politicians, uh, these other parents, like me, we care about our kids. So, you know, there's been a big flack. A lot of parents don't want to send their kids into a classroom, a packed classroom. It makes no sense. You got more infections, more people dying right now than when all this started, when they shut things down. And now you're opening more things up, even though there's more infections. Because you never really shut down. You never really mandated mask wearing. They still haven't. Florida still does not have mandated mask wearing. The only people mandating it are the stores, which is ridiculous. Every store is expected to make their own policy instead of a, a statewide situation where the governor, you know, says to do it and then enforces it. They're, they're letting the, the people who want to do it do it and people who don't want to do it don't do it. And it's causing trouble or problems because some people are saying, well, I don't have to wear a mask. And then if the store tells them they have to wear the mask, they kill the store clerk. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is going on here? People have gone wacko. Okay, we are at Port Canaveral. Let's see, visit our website to purchase admission. Credit card only. No cash. Here we go again. No cash. Jetty Park is open, but they won't let you go unless you pay online with a credit card. Look at the Disney cruise ship. Do you guys see the big Disney cruise ship? Right there. I don't know if this car is burning or... Wow, look at look at the, that big sail thing. And then there's um, the contrail there. Do you see that weird shaped contrail next to it? I, I don't think the camera's picking it up. There's like a curved contrail in the sky, in the clouds. And some people, those of you uh, conspiracy theory people will say, well, you know, they're spraying. <laughs> That's what's making other people behave like nuts. So I'm going to try to park here and hopefully Port Authority cop doesn't come and, and give me a hard time. It's like a beautiful spot with nobody here. It says, welcome, open 10 to 5, Exploration Tower. Chef, you can't take your car there. You have to park out here. And I see there's really just, I don't want to just sit out here and park in this parking lot. Although I could eat. I think I'm going to go to the water. That way uh, you guys can at least have something scenic to look at. You know, maybe dolphins will come up or something. We'll go by the water. 
You, you know what I find interesting is all these restaurants and stuff, they're open, but they shut their bathrooms. Same with the gas stations. So if you're a van dweller um, and you normally use bathrooms at like these places, like even the park that we're going to, I think that the bathroom might be locked. Maybe. Although I went once and it was locked and then another time it was open. But right now I don't know if it's open or not. I guess I'll find out. But um, a lot of places have um, bathrooms that they, they close. They won't open them. Even when I went to pick up the pizza at Little Caesars, they had a bathroom and they said closed due to coronavirus. They didn't want um, they don't want people in there. I, I they say for safety reasons, which I guess I can understand because you have to you have to um, decontaminate each time, you know. And I don't think they have staff that can go in there and clean the bathroom after a person leaves it. Walmart doesn't care. <laughs> and the Walmart bathrooms are pretty filthy. I don't know. Now it's just not a good time to go out anywhere, really. And even picking up the food is kind of risking it, you know. And then you always see the, the, the people doing the food. Half of them don't even wear the mask correctly. They, they got it, like, with their nose sticking out. Or some of them wear it under their chin, like a chin guard. We're, we're getting ready to hit um, hurricane season. I don't know what's going to happen here with the hurricane season, with coronavirus, because this is like some messed up stuff here. <laughs> so here we are at the, the port. Looks like it's not too packed. Isn't that like a, a, a singer too packed? All right, I'm going to see where I can park. Maybe I can park over here. That way you guys get a good view. You get a nice view here. There, isn't that a lovely view? All right, I wonder if it has a wider view. Nope, that's just my forehead. Uh, yeah, there, you can watch the birds. I hope you guys don't mind me turning my fan on. I'm gonna turn the fan on. One of the joys of having electricity. I, I got my little 12 volt fan blowing at me as I'm sitting here enjoying my um, Little Caesars pizza. With this pepperoni pizza and some Mountain Dew. People are here fishing. It's actually very quiet out here tonight. You can see, um, I don't see any ships out here. The Disney, the Disney ship is at port. I don't know if they're allowed to sail yet. Does anyone know the status of the ships and, and whether or not they're allowed to sail? Watch that guy fishing. You can look at my, my delicious looking pizza. <laughs> mm. It's $5 pizza. $5.35 with taxes. Probably be boring, but I don't know. It's just kind of relaxing being out here for me. I don't know if you guys can hear the rumble. There's a drawbridge right next to me, and that's the sound of cars going over the drawbridge.
Can you imagine being one of those birds? I bet you these animals, like the birds and stuff, they don't care about coronavirus at all. They don't even know about it. They're like continuing to live every day like normal. A boat coming in. See, if you were out at a place like this, I can see not wearing a mask. There's nobody around. I would hope that in places where they mandate mask wearing, if you have a park or something like this where there's nobody around, they should not be arresting people for not wearing a mask. Or fining people. The whole idea of the mask is to uh, keep people protected from other people. But like in a place like this, there's nobody around. This is um this is the the port. This water here goes out to the ocean. Atlantic Ocean is that way. And that strip right along there, that little area there, that's where the spaceships launch from. Spaceships all launch along that coast right there. I don't know if you saw SpaceX the other day. They launched something, I think, for the Koreans. I was actually out there on the, um, driving down the, uh, I think it's called the Banana River Drive. One of the riverside roads. It's pretty cool. I saw the, the, the spaceship go up while I was driving. You've seen this waterway before. If you've seen my videos where I take the casino boat out, down further that way, I know that thing's blocking it. That's where the jetty and stuff is out there. But the casino boat right there where you get on the casino boat and then it goes out that way. You might have even seen those, um, those towers and stuff there. Some people fishing here. Mm. Tilt doesn't reach. You'll see them in a minute. Coming up on a little, they got a little pontoon, bo pontoon boat. Mm, he's speeding up. I'm going to have one more slice of pizza, then I'll take you guys out for a little walk. I figure that the birds are probably more interesting to look at than nothing. Sorry about that smudge. Probably a dead love bug on my windshield.
<laughs> you know what's crazy about those big birds? Look at their heads. Look at the head. They have these bald spots. It looks almost like a skeleton head. Little kid chasing them. Look at their heads. They're so messed up looking. Do you see it? It's like not normal looking. But all of them are like that. We got the little guy chasing them. Okay. The kid. I'm blocking the kid. I want, I want to film that kid. Alright, we're going to go for a little walk. Let me unplug and zoom. You can see my little Caesar's pizza. I think I ate like half of half of the pizza. Yeah, we're gonna go for a little tiny walk here, um, so you guys can see the whole area here. <coughs> this is the marina. You guys have seen this park before. Um, it's where I. I think when I first did the circuit, I came here and I was using this place to do laundry. <laughs> I hear something. Oh, the guy got something. It um, it was pulling his um, pole into the water. Did you hear that? I don't know if it got away or what. It, it got away. Something pulled his pole. But, um, let's go see. I bet you the bathroom, it looks like it's open. Maybe. We'll see if the bathroom's open. It looks like they actually have the bathroom open. Yeah, bathroom's open. It's amazing, actually. All these places, um, even the parks, some of them open up the park, but they shut the bathroom. I'm like, what the? You, you have people coming to the park. Bathroom here is pretty clean. It's a, it's a nice bathroom. Not a bad bathroom. I wonder if they lock it at a certain time. <coughs> if they don't, it's a potential spot. But I do know this place gets patrolled by the, um, the port authorities. They come around in their little trucks. <sighs> this is the boat launch. Let's see if we can see any fish or anything in there. The water looks pretty, uh, pretty clear. Well, that sky looks pretty ominous. <laughs> you, you see how it's got like a layer? It's like a storm cloud. Um, you know, it's got that layer it's dark underneath it's like all gray and above it's like bright and sunny 
but it is getting dark. I mean, what is it, about seven or right? seven something? Right out there, straight out, is actually um, where you, it's like the ocean right there. And I don't know if you can see that, that ship, that big ship right there. I think that might be the Disney ship. People out there paddling. You know, the, the zoom on this camera sucks as far as trying to get it under control. But yeah, this water is uh, greenish blue. I can't see through it. Somebody's yacht. It says Escape is the name of that yacht. Look how big that is. That's like a multi million dollar yacht right there. I thought about getting like a sailboat. Yes, Canadian. Sailboat's behind the other boat. I hear the birds or something. Do you hear them? I don't know if you guys hear all the stuff that I hear out here, but there's also the interesting sounds. There are people paddling their boat out here. It looks like um, some people in a canoe. It's like four people. No, it's two boat, two canoes. Four people. No, it's three canoes. I don't know if you can see all the canoes out there. <gasps> oh, he caught something. <laughs> he caught something. It looks like this area has bad, um, you know, that's the thing about this this area here. Sometimes you get bad reception because we're actually out in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to go look at the um, the drawbridge area. You can see a little blue here. It still looks pretty normal. Do you guys remember my uh, $5 paint job? What do you think? <laughs> Somebody left their mask. This is the uh, the drawbridge you were hearing people go over. I guess that's how deep the water is. Is that how deep it is? <coughs> it says 2018. It seems to be going the wrong way. That bird thought he was going to dive. Small world, dreams come true. You got all this advertising there on that, that electronic billboard. Oh, look what somebody did. All the lures and stuff over there. See all that? All those lures are caught over there. There's something there floating. I don't know if that's trash or if that's a creature. There's something floating there. I think it's trash. <coughs> Looks like a leaf, a couple leaves. That's the sound you were hearing. It's uh, cars whizzing by. Uh, yes, you can fish here. The best is that TRC wants to know if you can fish here. You're allowed to fish here. People fish here. So people fish under here, you can see that's how they got all those lures and stuff stuck. But out there is the Atlantic Ocean, so this is the inlet coming in. It actually goes to um, a bunch of locks because it, it goes through there. I'm, I don't know if I can go today. We might try it. I think it's going to be too dark by the time we get out there. We'll go another day. There's, um, you, you go around the side road and there's these locks. And if you don't know what a lock is, a lock is kind of like, um, basically when you connect water, bodies of water, and like, like in this case, the Atlantic Ocean, 
with the rivers. We have two rivers here, the Banana and the Indian River down that way. The water level is not the same. So water will tend to flow one way. You know, um, the river and the ocean don't have the same amount of water level. So the water will flow one way, which means... Wow, listen to that sound. You can't get in or out unless you uh, raise or lower the ships. So that's what the locks do. The locks basically act like little elevators. It's like a little room, a little um, section. The boat goes into it and they pump water into it or lower water from it to match the water on the other side. So they move boats up and down. They lift boats up and down so they can get into the river from or the, you know, in the ocean so they can go back and forth. And uh, Panama Canal Zone is basically a bunch of locks, a series of locks that connects. Uh, in Panama Canal Zone, where I used to live, they have like a whole bunch of locks. And they, the locks connect the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. And that's why the Canal Zone is so important. It's because it allows boats to travel between the Atlantic and the Pacific just by crossing through Panama. You know, the isthmus of Panama through the locks. But that's how this works here too. It's just, in this case, it's a lot smaller than the canal zone, <laughs> but it's locks. Now th this, this isn't the locks, this is the, uh, the drawbridge. And you won't really see it raised or lowered unless a, um, a sailboat comes through here with a huge mass that they can't lower. But yeah, no one's fishing out here. This would be a spot to fish right now. Look how beautiful this looks. I came here and I walked in the water once and a whole bunch of fish, like hundreds of fish swam through me. You, you know how you watch the movies and stuff and you see the swish swirl around people and stuff? That's what it was like. So I was walking around out there and all the fish came up and swirled. So you can see this is kind of collapsing here. The uh, area I'm standing could collapse. Somebody had caught a fish and cut it up. <coughs> Water is pretty clear. And you can see the little fish. I don't know if you can see those little swordfish thingies down there. See them moving? See them in the water? I don't know if you guys can see them on this camera right there. That little thing that's a fish. And sometimes you'll see um, bigger fish and you also see like stingrays and stuff. I think manatees and stuff may go through here and dolphins sometimes. They go from the ocean to the river. So... This water connects them. But I, I think this water is like beautiful right here. You could walk around in it. And I can see the little fish right there. Look how clear it is. I wonder if you could bring the RV and park it here. <laughs> Spend the night here. I don't know if anyone would come and say anything. Well, if they leave the fishing open all night, you could park here and fish all night. Maybe I'll try that one day. You know, bring the, the van or something. If you're just fishing, Florida says you can fish. And if you fish all night, they leave you alone. So if you're parking where you're fishing and you have fishing poles and stuff, they won't mess with you. So that's one way, I guess, to, to stealth camp, you know. You, you carry fishing gear with you. You can go fishing, and when you're not fishing, you're taking a nap. And if they knock on the thing, say, yeah, oh, I was just taking a nap. I'm, I'm going to go back fishing here in a minute. Thanks for waking me up. I'll go fishing now. <laughs> Look how beautiful this looks. No trespassing, U.S. government property. This is U.S. government. So here we go. When we cross through here, it's um, federal land, and that's the locks. All those things over there are the locks. I guess that's controlled by the federal government. But I'm looking here at the water and you can see, is this like oysters and stuff? I think I might even put my foot in it. I think I'll do that. I have not been in the water in like forever. 
you know, it's like, um, I think the Port Authority just drove by in their truck. I don't know if that's them or not. I'm going to try to get my, my, um, up here and walk around in the water a little bit because I think it's important to, to do this kind of stuff every so often to reconnect yourself with the earth. Oh, look. One of the birds is here. So I go in there and then this sea creature pulls me under. Yeah, this is like really nice. Oh, I'm caught. I got caught on a fishing line with an invisible line here. Look at all those crabs and other creatures and glass. You can see the shells. I wonder if we can go crabbing here. I don't see any big crabs. When I was a kid in Panama, we used to we used to get like chicken, uh, chicken leg, tie it on a string, and put it like in between the rocks like this, and the little crab, the the I guess blue crab, would come and grab it with a pincher. And they're so stupid. They grab it, and then they won't let go. So you yank them up, you haul up the string. Ow, 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 sharp rocks. You, you start to pull out, pull up the, um, the string with the, the chicken, and they don't let go. And you just pick up the crab, and then you get them over your bucket, and you whack them, and they let go. And then we get the, the crabs, and we would eat them. But yeah. I always get scared that you're going to find, like, a dead body or something like this buried out here. <laughs> you know? It's like you're looking, and you go, what's that? That looks like an arm. Of course, this area is so visited, I doubt anyone would dump anybody here. So, you never know. Yeah, this water is really nice. It's um, it's actually not hot and not cold. It's comfortable. Matter of fact, I think I just found a. Sp oh crap! My shoes are drifting away. Did you see that? My freaking shoes are. I'm losing my Nike shoes. Crap! It's going away. Well, my pants are all wet now. How the hell did that happen? Oh shit, I just cut myself in there. What the hell? I think I just cut myself. <sighs> I had the shoes out in the dry spot. And I don't know, maybe water somehow came up? I'm all wet. Oh well, and I think I cut my foot trying to rush to get my shoes. It was going to drift the water. It's coming in. Tide's coming in. My shoe was going to drift all the way out there through the locks. They'd be like, There's, whose, whose shoes are going through the locks? We need to raise or lower the water so the, lock, the shoe can make it to the river. Ow. Well, let me grab my shoes. I can't believe these shoes were floating. They decided to get some paint on there. Just a reminder of what happened earlier today. <laughs> Why we're here now, trying to calm down. <laughs> you know, it, it's times like this that I'm grateful sometimes for being in Florida because I have access, and and right now there's, you know, they haven't shut us to the point where we. Actually, they they're more open now than they were earlier. But even when they were shut down, they never really shut down the water. We get a little fish swimming around in there. I'm gonna try to sit here and hopefully nothing grabs me. Ah. Oh. Feels good. Water feels good. I'm trying to see if I'm bleeding all over. If I'm bleeding, then I'm attracting sharks. Shark will come. And it smells the blood in the water. You hear the, the water coming up through here. I'm just trying to figure out how the heck my shoes... I put them where it was dry, but the water must come up. I don't know. Somehow the shoes found themselves swimming. That was weird. Really weird. You guys ever ever think about like um um 
Callie Venture says, I need a boat. Actually, I have a boat. <laughs> You're going to see me do this project. There's something over there. Do you see that white thing? What the hell is that? What is that? What is that? There's something over there. Looks like a boat or something. Do you see that, that silver white thing over there on that side, on the other side? Anyhow, I do have a boat. So, um, the RV, I decided to buy one of those little um, blow-up boats. So, for my son to play with. So, what we're going to do, I'm trying to find a little motor or I'll make one for the boat. So, it's a little one of those little rubber boats that holds like pretty much one person. You know, two little kids or one big person. And I have paddles, so you could paddle it out here. This would be a perfect spot for paddling the boat. Maybe I'll bring my kids out here to play right here. So if you got to wear shoes or something. I think I cut my foot pretty bad. Yeah, I did cut it. See the blood? Cut it. I cut it with uh, chasing my um, my floating shoes because I didn't want it to go into the the river. So I cut my foot. But anyhow, um, I'm going to bring that little boat, and it'd be fun to float out here, although you'd want to wear those little, you know they sell those little rubber shoes that you can wear? Um, you'd want to wear that, because this stuff's sharp. There's um, rocks and glass, and it looks like um, bottle caps down there. So I cut myself on one of these sharp things when I was running out to get my shoes. Oh, did you see that? something there put its head up and it's looking at me it's either a turtle or a snake or an alligator you see it coming up what the hell is that a shark that smelled my blood what is that it's um, looking at me right there what is that I can't tell from where I am, but I can see my blood all in the water here. What is that thing? Where'd it go? Now it went deep. Oh, I see. Lots of stuff moving here. Yeah, some people are here. Where did it go? I don't know where it went. I don't even know what it was. I thought it it looked like a turtle. It looked like it had flippers. But um it kept sticking its head or something up to look at me. But it could have been um even an alligator. You know, this is Florida. We get gators everywhere. I'm gonna probably call it a night here in a minute and then go deal with my cut because I'm, I'm bleeding pretty bad. Go wrap it or something, stop the bleeding. Jordan, look at all the needlefish. Yeah, there are. see other people fishing. Yeah, I think I'm going to, um, this would be a good spot to bring the kids to, to float, but you would have to wear shoes. Whoa, those ones are fish. Huh? Do you see that? That, that's, 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 um, Look, how many like the needle type fish, you know, that they were talking about, the long skinny ones? Okay, let's go over here. Yeah, that's a fish. Oh, that's a fish. Yeah, that's a fish. That's a fish. That's a Callie Adventure wants to see the boat. You can't see the boat because it's in the RV and I don't have the RV with me right now, but you'll see it another time. I think all the fish are coming because they smell the blood. <laughs> and they're like, hey, fresh meat over here. I see all these animals coming up from where I was standing. Maybe the blood is going in there and it's attracting them. Maybe we'll see a shark. You know, they had these sharks coming up here. Not here, but on the beach side. Swimming right up to the shore. You can see more of the contrails there. 
the contrail there. If I didn't know better, I would say that that silver thing over there is a boat. Like a little blow-up pontoon boat. Yeah, everybody's coming here now at the spot. <laughs> Which is probably my cue to get out of here. So I want to thank you all for joining me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and head back. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and um, sign out. Whatever that thing was just popped its head back up over there. There's another one right there. It's right there. Right by the corner of the fence right there. Alright, time for me to head out. I hope you all staying safe wherever you guys are. And uh, taking advantage of nature if you have an opportunity to get out. Um, get out while you can before they lock everybody back down again. <laughs> get out and... Um, Try to enjoy whatever little bits of nature you can before they shut everything down. So take care, everyone. God bless you all. Please stay safe. I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Bye-bye now.